गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सोनदीप नंदी आई स्टैंड प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई स्टार्टेड यू टॉपिक दैट इज प्लीम सो एट फास्ट व्हाट इज प्लीम द डिस्पर्शन ऑफ एमिटेड गैसेस फ्रॉम द सोर्स ऑफ देयर प्रोडक्शन इज नोन एज प्लीम एंड द सोर्स इज नोन एज stack i repeat again the dispersion of emitted gases from the source of their production is known as plume and the source is known as stack now what is e l r actually the full name of elr is environmental lapse rate so what is elr the environmental lapse rate is the rate of decrease of temperature with altitude in the stationary temp at, uh, atmosphere at a given time and location now as an average the international civil aviation organization short form is icao defines and international standard atmosphere that is isa with a temperature lapse rate of 6. 49 kelvin per kilometer that is 3.56 degree fahrenheit or 1.98 degree celsius per 1000 feet from sea level to 11 kilometer example from 11 kilometer up to 20 kilometer the constant temperature is minus 56.5 degree celsius which is the lowest assumed temperature in the isa that is international standard atmosphere now we discuss about alr the full form of alr is adiabatic lapse rate the process of expanding the contracting without exchanging heat is an adiabatic process so at first we know what is adiabatic process the process of expanding and contracting without exchanging heat is an adiabatic process when a parcel of air expands it pauses on the air around it doing work since the parcel does work but gains no heat it loses internal uh, energy so that its temperature decreases the process of expanding and contracting without exchanging heat is an adiabatic process the rate of temperature decrease is 9.8 degree celsius per kilometer now we discuss about koning plume what is koning plume it is calculated that when horizontal wind velocity exceeds 32 km per hour and under the condition of cloud blocking solar radiations at daytime 
and terrestrial radiation at night natural plume tends to form cone like structure known as coning plume under sub adiabatic condition that is elr is less than alr when there is limited vertical mixing and environment is slightly stable the plume also attains cone like structure and is coning plume now fanning plume under extreme inversion condition due to negative lapse rate fanning plume is obtained under condition of inversion stable environmental condition exists just above the stake and plume does not move upwardly but horizontally occurrence generally in less turbulence condition now we discuss about looping plume looping plume is of heavy character and occurs in super adiabatic environment what is super adiabatic environment that means a elr is greater than a l r environmental lapse rate is greater than adiabatic lapse rate which produces highly unstable atmosphere because of rapid mixing in an unstable atmosphere rapid air movements take place vertically both upward and downward and the plume becomes a looping plume as a result of these high concentrations of pollutants may occur near the ground to disperse these pollutants it is advisable to design high stack where atmosphere is generally super adiabatic now we discuss about natural plume natural plume occurs in natural atmospheric condition what is natural atmospheric condition natural atmospheric condition is elr environmental lapse rate is equals to alr adiabatic lapse rate such type of plume raises vertically in an upward direction the upward lifting of the plume will continue till it reaches a height where density and temperature of surrounding air are equal to it it is very essential that a natural plume only occur when the natural atmospheric conditions are stable that means elr equals to al alr dear student it is very important point that is the in the natural plume the uh, natural uh, uh, it is occurs in 
natural atmospheric condition that means elr is equals to alr now we discuss lofting plume under conditions of strong super adiabatic lapse rate just above the stack and negative lapse rate that is inversion just below the opening of stack lofting plume is obtained i repeat again under conditions of strong super adiabatic lapse rate just above the stack and negative lapse rate that is inversion just below the opening of stack lofting plume is obtained the upward mixing of plume is very rapid and turbulent but downward mixing is less because the downward movement is prevented by inversion the dispersion of pollutants therefore becomes rapid and pollutants cannot come down to the ground such kind of plume is ideal for dispersion of air pollutants and protection of living beings to a great extent now we discuss few me getting plume few me getting plume it is just opposite to lofting plume under conditions of negative lapse rate just above the stack and strong super adiabatic lapse rate below the stack in the lofting plume we see that a strong super adiabatic lapse rate just above the stack and the negative lapse rate just below the opening of the stack but in the fumigating plume the uh, uh, it is just opposite to uh, lofting plume and under the condition of the negative lapse rate just above the stack and the strong super adiabatic lapse rate just below the stack the type of plume obtained is known as fumigating plume clear it is very uh, it is a very important question that is what uh, what is the basic difference between the fumigating plume and the lofting plume it is a very very important question for the semesters under this set of condition the pollutants can escape above the stack rather they come down near the ground due to turbulence and mixing fumigating plume is therefore extremely bad for dispersion of pollutants and next is trapping plume so what is trapping plume when the inversion layer exist above the stack and as well as below the stack so i repeat again when the inversion layer exist above the stack and as well as below the stack the plume neither goes up nor goes down rather it gets confirmed or trapped between these two inversion layer 
such type of plume is therefore termed as trapping plume in the trapping plume uh, inversion layer exists above the stack and also below the stack this plume is not ideal for dispersion of pollutants as cannot go above a certain height so ajke ei porjonto i thaklo ebong ami je question gulo bolchi ekhon she question gulo semester er jonno ebong tomader janar jonno khubi important so eta hocche first uh, question number 1 write down the difference between elr and alr and write down the difference between fumigating plume and looping plume and what is elr and what is alr so student thank you